Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doing another random ranking. Surprising, right? Been doing a lot of these lately. It's just been busy at work. So, I mean, it's been busy at work a lot lately and just don't have a lot of time to vlog other things or do larger projects or anything like that. So it's just a lot of random ranking. And what that is, if you're new here, if you stumbled on this video, I go to my movie collection behind me and I pick out three movies at random. Sometimes I'll even close my eyes when I'm doing it. And then I rank those three movies, which usually have nothing in common, or very few things in common. Regardless, they're chosen so randomly, it's not like it's, you know, me ranking a franchise or something like that, or a specific actor, or a specific director, or anything like that. But I do look at these movies and then come up with sort of a criteria at random as to how I rank them. Sometimes it's based on nostalgia. Sometimes it's, you know, my favorite genre or how much I prefer a certain genre or director or actors involved or just like the tone of the film. Sometimes it's the me taking an academic look at it or just like how dumb funny is this or things like that. So a variety of things go in to the ranking. Uh, okay, so here is something that happens every once in a while. Rock of Ages. I bought this on Black Friday for like a dollar and I have not seen this movie yet so I must replace it. So I'm gonna lay this over here and grab something else probably from this area because I still have a lot of movies over here and we'll see what this one is. Okay this is a made-for-tv movie. I think it was maybe like a two-parter uh, but this is called Johnson County War. It has Tom Berenger in it, Burt Reynolds, uh, Luke Perry, Rachel Ward, um, who else? Other people. And then Ben Affleck's Daredevil. And then, oh, my wife made me watch this, but I do not. Wait, another year? Which one is another year? No, I watched this. Not my, well, I can't remember. How did I watch this? I remember it was like, um... Oscar nominated, so that's why I watch it. Okay, 2010. Okay, Another Year, uh, Jim Broadbent. Who else is in it? Ruth Sheen, Leslie Manville. Okay. <clears throat> I This was a, a one-time watch. Okay, and I but I married into the movie. So I watched this movie in prep for the Oscars. And then I thought I was never going to see it again, and I don't think I have seen it ever again. But then I did marry into this DVD copy, because this is my wife's. This is mine, and this is mine right here. I think I got this at a Christmas, like, white elephant grab bag sort of thing, and I'm glad I did, because I like it. I, I like this movie. But is it a TV show? We're going to call it a movie. I think it was shown in two parts, so it's like a two-parter, like, miniseries or something like that. I don't know. It is very long, 178 minutes, so probably a miniseries, but we're going to call it a movie. And... I don't know, I, I think it's pretty enjoyable about this family um, in Johnson County. Um, who knows, who remembers what state that's in? Kansas or something? I don't know, probably getting that wrong. I think that is right, though. Um, and, you know, it's just like Old West sort of stories that are happening. Um, it's, you know, been a while since, because I can't, like, recall the plot. I think there are... Uh, uh, ranches involved and cows being moved from A to B and you know people are thinking some are stolen I don't I don't you know I'm, I mostly put on as a nice long background movie for me to do other projects too I have sat down and watched it uh, I think twice from beginning to end but normally it's just a background movie that I put on just have you know I don't I don't listen to music very much so I, I just put on movies and this is a good one for that this right here um, you know, I, I, I would need to revisit it. I liked it at the time. Kevin Smith is in it. Um, I love Michael Clark Duncan. I think he was a great kingpin. Very believable as a, like, strong force that you don't want to mess with physically. Um, not just, you know, through, like, goons or anything, but, you know, kingpin himself. It was just, he, he's very believable as somebody you don't want to mess with. So I thought he was great. I think Ben Affleck was pretty good, if I remember right. Um, who else? Uh, Happy. Uh, John Favreau, he's in it. Um, and Electra. I'm just trying to, like, remember her part in it. Like, I remember her movie, 
but I, I just, I have a tough time remembering her in the movie. Jennifer Garner, but, you know, it's just a movie that came out a while ago, and it's just not one I think about very much, but it's, it's pretty good. I do like his look. I think his suit is pretty cool. You know, I like that. Here's a closer look at Johnson County War, if you care. And then, another year. So, this is one where I feel bad, because I've not seen this since 2010, when it came out. Actually, I probably saw it in 2011, I would guess. Probably, like, in prep for the Oscars right before. But maybe I saw it in 2010. But anyway, um, yeah, it was just like... How, how am I supposed to remember this? I feel bad for keeping it in because that just means it's an automatic third place, but I have seen it, so I'm going to keep it in. I only get rid of the ones that I've never seen, so this one is going to perform poorly based simply on its lack of memorability. I barely remember it. A lot of that has to do with the age I was because I didn't really care about it. I was more interested in movies like this at the time it came out. So, what am I gonna do here? Um, you know, I think this is what I'm gonna do, right here. I'm gonna put Johnson County War as number one because I love putting this on in the background. I love the tone of it. I just like the feel of it. It sort of has a Hallmarky feel. Might, have even, might even be a Hallmark movie. It is a Hallmark movie. <laughs> so, yeah, I just kinda, I don't know, I like that. There's something comforting about it. And there's this great scene where they try Jello for the first time. I don't, you know, who knew Jello was was made back in? Well, I don't see a year of when this movie takes place, but yeah, it seems like Jello's been around for quite some time. Anyway, uh, this movie, you know, I like it, but I don't care about it as much anymore. I'm not always trying to watch this. Its time has has gone. Ebert and Roper gave it two thumbs up, though. That's cool. So this is what I'm going to do. Johnson County War, Daredevil, and Another Year. Have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three of them, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching this random ranking, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.